Really good fish. Or well, feels like a good fish. Welcome to another edition of Tap Fishing. I'm Tom. Beautiful weather today in Sydney. Really windy, rain. We're in 100 mil of rain today, so it's good. Uh, it's supposed to clear up tomorrow, but tomorrow obviously work will start again because the sun's out. So I uh, thought I'd brave the conditions and get out stupidly and give it a go. So we'll see what happens. Um, probably going to hit the canal. Sorry about the wind, it's really bad, eh? I got the umbrella jerry rigged under my shoulder here, so at least my, uh, my beautiful face doesn't get wet. My makeup doesn't run. All right, so uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the canals. So it'd be a canal trip today. Uh, travel down the canal. Hopefully, we get out of this bloody wind. I just wanted to see what was happening on the edge here, but uh, nothing but wind and rain. So, all right, uh, a dead Trevor. Thought I'd see more dead fish actually with all the fresh in the water, but doesn't matter. All right, so I uh, stay tuned and see what happens. Let's pick this up. It wasn't me. So. Trevor's been in the water for a little bit, everyone's had a bit of a bite, he's washed up, I don't know why, maybe too much fresh water maybe, got him, poor bastard, good size Trev too, very good size Trevor. I'll try to keep the glass on the screen clean as possible, so if it's a bit smudgy I apologise. So, my areas of thought today is fresh water coming out from the drains. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's a straight line where the current's going out, the water's pushing out fresh water. Okay, there's a bit of an eddy here, along this area here. Okay, so I'm assuming the uh, fish should be on the edge where the fresh is coming out, waiting for crap to come out. I can see all this garbage collecting up, so you know it's an eddy. You know, the water's pretty stagnant here, but it's flowing over there, so, and it's coming around. So the idea is here, is to uh, fish that edge of the water. In between the fresh and the salt so salt water's uh fresh water's on top salt water usually sits on the bottom that's the, okay so that's our that's our uh, plan for here until we hit uh, right up in the thing i am using a bigger gulp bait all right just uh just for casting against this wind here all right but uh also a bit bigger bait bigger scent more chance for the fish are finding it in this rubbish water so all right we'll see how we go Bites. Oh, fish on. Oh, ah, what's this? Oh, whiting. Wow. Whiting in the current. Impressive. On the gulp. Shrimp. Camo. Little whiting. Hello, buddy. Up in the fresh water. Didn't expect that. Off he goes. Thought it was a tailor for a second there. All right. Using the um, worm rig. I try this out if it works or not. We gotta make sure it gets a bit soft sometimes. It's a bigger bait, so I was using the worm, but and the hook's probably too big. This one, and a bigger hook. Ah, oh, impressive. All right, so whiting. All right, sweet. Go again. Fish on. Fish on. Ah, oh, it's a brimbo. It's a brim bow, right at the mouth of the canal. Little bad size brim. Didn't pull much drag, but. Oh, just dropped the rod. Just hooked myself. Just hooked myself, got it right on the edge of the mouth. Bit of a strike there. Oh, sorry, bud. Sorry, off he goes. So we moved into the, the mouth of the canal. So, I'm dancing with my rod here. Sorry, that's really bad. Maybe it's slippery as. Yeah, so just cast it out into the middle. So, I was going to move up river hoping they're up top. But being that it's uh, the tide's going out, they might have moved down here. So, I thought I'd give it a bit of a flick here. Yeah, give it a bit of a flick here. They seem to be here. No bites, just strikes. So, 
got a kind of the your bait's going to kind of portray uh, a fleeing, I don't know, something coming out of the canal. So we cast out forward. This tide's coming out, and the water's pushing out. And you want it to bounce on the bottom. Make it look like, and the fish are just sitting in the current, just waiting for something to come down. So they end up hitting it. Okay, so that's the idea. That's why we fish here. So there's one little brim. There's got to be another little brim somewhere. Hopefully we found a little tiny school of them. Alright. So we've only got one GoPro and this GoPro is not the best. It's a bit old. You have to keep on turning you off before I get the hookups, alright? So I apologise, but at the moment that's the way it is. So we'll keep on going. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so let's go for my thoughts. Okay, try to solve. It's like a problem solving fishing in these conditions. The winds are picking up and sitting ahead, but uh, try it up in the canal. Most of you guys know what this spot is. Too much fresh water, way too much fresh water. Sorry about the lens, try to get the rain off. Yeah, way too much fresh water. There's not enough salt up there. So right at the edge, I caught that brim before. So it's probably where the salt water stops and the rest is fresh. So my thought is they've coming in here, the fresh water's going out and the fish are holding up in here for now. Okay, sorry, but I really apologize for the camera. Okay, so that's my thought. So that's why I hit this bay and now it's pissing down rain. It doesn't matter, I'm already wet. All right. Um, so we're gonna keep on hitting this area. I have been getting a few good hits just before that brim. And he just come along and smashed it. So it was the shrimp camo by Gulp. I've only got Gulp because it's smelly. All right, the water is obviously extremely dirty from wet rain. So the smell is the smell of the key. All right, it's not much movement on that. It's more the smell that it sit. All right, and then a couple of taps up that it sit down again. Fish, fish on. Change it to the shrimp camo. Really good fish. Well, feels like a good fish. Not doing much other than circling. Always a decent brim. He's a good brim. He's a really good brim. Well, decent enough for today's conditions anyway. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Getting small hits. Losing, um, losing a little bit of faith there, but um, got a big hit before. Got a massive hit before, so I thought I'd just stay here for a second. They're definitely not in the canal. It's too much fresh up there, so I'll explain to you why my thoughts. He's a decent, he's a legal brim, isn't he? Not bad. So that's going to end another edition of tap fishing. Um, Wind, wind's picked up bad, it's about 35 k's, it's blowing, so it's uh, time to hit the hills. You know, uh, tap fishing rule two, if your undies are wet, time to go home. So my undies are wet again, so it's two, two sessions of undie wet. But we catch, caught a few fish, a few brim, which is quite surprising. Well, well, after brim, but I wasn't expecting brim, all the whiting actually, so I wasn't expecting anything. But So it's up, on my post up, so I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, so definitely the uh, muddy water, the gold baits, smelly baits worked. That's the key. They can't really see. It's too much motion in the water, the rain, so it's all scent. So if you are going out and fishing in the rain, let me take some gulps with you. Just change it up. Camo was working well. I only tried camo, that's why it was working well. All right, and that's gonna end. So uh, thank you for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And uh, as Tap Fishing always says, be good, be kind, be safe. And